Hi all, hope you're all, all okay. This is my um, wee review of the Fugitive Doctor's TARDIS. Just been released by Character Options, um, online exclusive, um, 39.99 post free. Um, that's the UK by the way. Um, so here we have her TARDIS. It uh, features a new lamp and a new roof and and more like a new door sign. The figure itself is nicely detailed. You've got the waistcoat, the shirt, the gun. Um, it looks like Joe Martin. Uh, yep, I think it's a nice figure. Articulation as usual. Not biceps bubble, but elbow. Let me take her out so I can show you. As you can see, she moves the elbow. And yep. It's a nice figure. Now you've probably seen the video with Al Jewer, um, where he talks to um, Joe Martin uh, about her figure, and she gives her thoughts on it, which I thought was quite fun. I'd like them to do that more with other characters, perhaps, or other actors, um, those that are still with us. Um, anyway, that's the figure, and then we have the TARDIS, of course, new roof, new lamp, a uh, new um, core sign. Um, I'm just going to remove her to the side. Now, I have to, of course, be honest with you. I said it's a nice TARDIS, but timber, if you can see, there's a lot of wood grain on the roof. Now, I don't know if there was on the roof. I don't think there was. I don't know why they do that. I think it's kind of spoils it. Now, if you want to see photos of this TARDIS, they're not that many to see um, because it's kind of in the dark when we first seen the uh, her TARDIS. Um, but it's the same prop they used for the first Doctor in Twice Upon a Time. So there is photos of that um, prop, same one. Um, it did not have a handle and the lock should be about here uh, down there so where it's up there it should be there it's basically they just used the standard mold of the TARDIS and added the roof um, I'm going to bring in a few, couple of comparisons in a few moments um, it does this is a nice feature this time around it comes with an actual backdrop um, which you've got to just cut out and put in. Um, you have probably seen it, but in case you haven't, I will bring it in. Just bear with me a moment because it's an, it's, a, it's still attached to the packaging. Um, you've got to kind of just cut it out, um, but I'll just do that at a later stage. Um, but it's nice to have. I hope they do that if they do any other TARDISes, do some inserts. Um, because at the moment it's just standard, uh, just that same mechanism opening and closing the doors. Okay, so I'll press the button there, and um, I just move her outside of the way. I'll just leave it there. So I'll tell you one thing, if you can notice it, the lamp is a bit loose, so I'd be very careful when you pick it up by that, it might just come off. So, yeah, and of course. Got the holes for it to breathe in. If you can see them. Of course I'm only taking the mic. Um, that's of course the speaker for when it is electronic. And there we go. So I'm just going to take her out for a minute. Um, and her gun. Just move that. Uh, I'm just going to take this out for a second. I'm just going to quickly bring in the backdrop. So you can... See what that looks like. Oops, having said that, my plan has just gone wrong. There you go. I'm going to bring that in there. And there you have it, you see. The Fugitive Doctor's interior. Um, now, I think that the, um, she is not pre-heart law. Um, and she certainly didn't come between the second and third Doctors. Um, where will I display this? Um, probably between Jodie and the 14th Doctor. I do hope we get another um, TARDIS of 
um, one for him and then one for um, Shruti. Anyway, um, comparison time. So, what am I comparing it to? Let's see. Oh, I know what I'm comparing it to. <coughs> this is, the, the te if you like, the template for most of the TARDISes. Um, this is the original, the original, you might say, no, the original Fourth Doctor's electronic TARDIS. Now, as you can see, um, uh, not very accurate. Um, I mean, the new one is pretty good, as I say, apart from the door lock and handle. Um, but it's the same handle there, just painted over and hit this one. Door sign is, of course, different, um, and the base is just thicker because this is electronic. There's no batteries in it, but as you can see, um, the roof <laughs> differs. Um, but like I say, that this wood grain kind of goes inwards a bit and dips, whereas this is slightly raised and a bit more accurate. Um, but turn it around. Um, signage looks about the same to me, um, yeah, that, which is of course not right. There you go, that's electronic. Uh, back round to that one. Um, and now we're going to bring in one more, take out the fourth. But well, this one is kind of um, tweaked upon, and that is the second Doctor's TARDIS from the War Games. It looks black, but it's kind of a very, very dark blue. Now, as you can see, it has the same roof as the electronic fourth, just that has a different lamp. So, um, it's basically the same TARDIS. Um, so, that's all they've done. Um, one thing in his video, Al Jewett said, a variant down the line will be the roof doctor with glasses. I'm not sure if I need another one. Um, does, I wonder, does that mean she would come with another figure or a Jadoon or um, another TARDIS that's this time is electronic? Um, because knowing character of old, they will re-release this one and probably do it electronic because they're not going to spend the money on a new roof and lamp and leave it they will want to get their money's worth well they are getting it for that price 39.99 which is rather steep um i mean the six doctors tardis from last year from bnm non-electronic um uh, it had new painting um 21.99 the what was it i can't remember off the top of my head the bradley tardis the other year or the, you know the first doctor's tardis electronic one was about what 24.99 wasn't it something like that and that was electronic through bnm so um I, i'd like to know the reason why this is costing a lot more is it because of the New work done it, the new lamp. Um, I have no idea on the roof, but it is quite steep. Um, I think a lot have been put, people overseas have been put off, off this um, because it would just cost too much and the postage would be too much. But there we go. Um, I had to get it because I just love getting the tarts. And I do like the set, don't get me wrong, but I said there are a few things wrong with the door handle, um, the lock in the wrong position, the wood grain on the top, yeah, that's not right. But I said, if you want to have a kind of a, a rough sort of comparison, well, not a rough one, a fairly good comparison, look at the um, Twice Upon a Time, either look at it on, if you've got the Blu-ray or DVD or look, Google it, you'll see pictures. Um, you get an idea what the box looked like, um, and if you haven't got either, then have a look on iPlayer because it is available there. 
Um, or you could just check out the Fugitive of the Doom, which is um, on there as well. Um, um, and I think that's all I'm going to say on this matter. Except, though, I don't know if I did I cover this already. This is exactly four years ago today since the Fugitive of the Doom aired on BBC One. Um, I mean, to me, this Doctor is from a parallel universe. Um, I mean, some put her between, as I've said before, Troughton and Pertwee. I can't, I don't buy into that because why then when Pertwee lands on Earth, is he wearing Troughton's clothes? To do, what did she do? Take her clothes off, put on Troughton's again, ready for the change? No. Uh... She's from a parallel earth, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm putting her up just next to Jodie's box. Well, I shall make some room up there because um, I'm running out of room. Anyway, there we go. That's my little review. I hope you liked it. Do drop me a comment below. Do like and subscribe to me. Um, until next time. Um, goodness knows what's coming out next. I mean, I, I if they can do her. And there's no reason now why they can't do an accurate Anthony Ainley master. I feel it's an injustice to the late actor that they haven't done one sooner. Because he, his master met the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh Doctors. And they've only done that Planet of Fire version, which was a cheap one. They just made a head and stuck it on Sim's master's body. Um... So I'm hoping for that. I mean, they could get quite a few releases out of that. Um, the standard one with the collar being uh, his gold collar. Um, a Five Doctors version with the cloak and then the collar with silver. Um, bring it out with his TARDIS again. So there's nothing really to stop them. Uh, on the next Tuesday, BM, I don't care. Just get me my Ainley Master. Oh, and also, Tegan is an Adric. Um, Tegan Air Hostess. No other outfit, please. That's my wish list. And one final thing I have to say to you guys. In some of my videos, I said, like, I'm not sure what might be next and that. And I said, I've heard rumours of the Roof Doctor's TARDIS. And don't blame me if it gets cancelled. So considering that I mentioned it, and it was never cancelled, shows you that I did, there was no way, which I know that for anyway, responsible for the cancellation of the Inferno set, if it ever was even in production. Um, you know, plans change. So there we go. Hope you liked it. Speak to you soon. Bye.